after last vlog, we had a very hectic travel day. We woke up and said goodbye to the staff at our hotel in Nusa Penida. Uh, I hope you come back again. <laughs> oh, thank yeah. you so much. Then drove our motorbike to the harbor. Over here? Okay, thank you. Hopped on the first speedboat of the day back to Bali mainland, which ended up leaving an hour past schedule. Finally here, made it back. Okay. All right, let's go. Time crunch. Ran to find a taxi to the airport. We're about 30 minutes away. I, I honestly don't know if we're gonna make this one. Thank you. Where we had a very close call. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe we've made it. <laughs> Shout out to our cab driver. He helped us get here. I knew we were gonna make it. Like <laughs> as soon as we got here and we had 20 minutes before the takeoff, I knew we were gonna make it. Sat back for a short flight to Suricarda. Transferred via the subway. Enjoy a much needed roti bun break. That train station was so clean. I thought like when I was walking on it, I was getting the floor dirty. But it was like so shiny, I could see myself. <laughs> mm. It's like a crusty part of the outside, butter on the inside. Boarded a one hour business class train to jog Jakarta. Finally, took a grab ride to get to our hotel. Okay, hi everyone. We are in Dr. Karda and we have come to the famous Malia Boro Street. We hear that Dr. Karda is famous for food. So our quest is to find some of the delicious local food in the area. So we're gonna be touring around the place. We're very excited because I know that Dr. Jakarta has its own style of food. Like it's famous apparently for being sweet and I can't really picture it. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting day. I'm from Sumatra. You're from Sumatra? Sorry, my English is not good. Oh no, your English is fine. Can you teach us a little word? Doras. Doras? Doras. Doras is how are you? How are you? Ah, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Oh, there's some fruit. Orange juice? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Fresh orange juice. Only 10,000. This is like fresh juice, but it still tastes like candy somehow. Here. And my turn. Oh, I swear the orange juice here is sweeter or something. It's just orange juice, but it tastes like they put syrup in it. It's so good. I could just get like five of these. So this area is clearly a touristy area, but there's not as many um, foreign tourists as I, as I thought. I wonder if this place gets more active at nighttime. Right now it's pretty chill, pretty calm, which I like. It's not super crowded. We're here at a restaurant to eat soto ayam. I heard it's a comfort food here. I think it's noodles in a soup with chicken, which I think in America that's also a comfort food. I think it's a local people's favorite. Fried scallop. Ah, okay. So they get all the ingredients ready yes. and pour the broth. Oh, what is that? Yes, potato bowl. Oh, potato bowl, okay. One fry? Yeah, yeah, please. Thank How many? 
Ah, uh, just one. Yes. Okay. Thank you. We have a bowl of soto ayam, and we ordered the kind with rice inside too. And on the side is calamansi, which we know makes everything better. Go with the lime. The chicken is delicious. I think it's a good call that we add it with the rice because it, it's more filling. Mm. The calamansi makes it so good. I can see why this is a comfort food. Mm. Actually, I really like this. It's so good. It's very warm and filling. It was so good. We had to order one more. Okay, so we got a potato croquette too. Right? Oh, it's like a hash brown. Oh, it's really good. They fried it on the outside lightly. Super savory and super delicious. Pizza to Ayam was so good. And they were so nice and welcoming. So we're gonna go try to find some other local food. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> One big difference between here and some other cities we've been in is they have lots of public trash cans here. Oh, I see some city bikes too. That would probably be fun to ride around the city. And I see a lot of hand washing stations everywhere we go. They definitely keep this area pretty nice. I think you probably need some. Oh, yeah. Uh, shop or not? Oh, Pak Jisung. Yeah, yeah, oh, Pak yeah. Anjuan. Yeah. <laughs> In here only? Just long. like one day, for two oh, days. Oh, yeah. Simple time, yeah. We wanted to try the local food. Oh, local food is here, BBC. What's the best local food here? Uh, local food, you must to try to gudeg. Gudeg? Gudeg. Oh, nasi gudeg. Uh, nasi gudeg. I've heard that gudeg is meat looking dish that's made out of jackfruit, so it's sweet but it's spicy, so the spiciness kind of like balances out the sweetness. It's a really popular dish here in Jakarta. You have to give that a try. We're trying to get to the closest restaurant we can find. Not the main tourist in this area, all right? We can't be too far, I think we're almost there. So there's a school here apparently, and the restaurant we'll be eating, I think it's right in front of the school. We can't really find this place we want to go into. Couldn't find the place we're looking for. Ask for some of these colorful treats. I don't know what they are. Sugar? Oh. How much for this? 5,000? Five, five? Yes. Yeah. Alright, so I think this is like a children's snack because they were right outside of this school. I think she made like they're literally sugar. I don't know if yeah. you're supposed to just eat it or if you're supposed to like, put it in food or tea. They look like a cookie. They look like a donut. So we're gonna give it a taste. Oh. It feels like a rock candy. It is coconut and sugar. Taste it. Coconut sugar. Oh, the inside is like a concentrated coconut. It's like covered in sugar coat. Because that's enough for me. I, I, can't, I can't do more than this. This is really sweet. It's good though. Ooh, it's so sweet. We tried to get to the restaurant that had nasi gudeg. It was on Google review. We couldn't see any restaurant that had nasi gudeg in the menu. We're going back to our main street. We'll try. We'll try to find find if there's a other restaurant. Today I'll show you how to cross a street in Indonesia. Run. That's how you cross the street. Just run. Oh, it's yeah. really warm. And in the package, she put some cucumber and hot pepper too. I don't know how to eat this, Grace. There's way more in it than I thought. Here's a pilot. Mmm. Bean sprouts, egg. 
Oh, I don't know what this is. I think this is a, some kind of organ meat. It has a lot more in it than a regular spring roll. And then cucumber adds like a nice um, contrast to the like greasy oil. <laughs> mm. I taste a lot of marinated veggies. Greasy, savory meat. Nice and crispy. All right, so the search for the Kudet continues. I think maybe here it might be good to go with the local. We're definitely having a hard time finding the right places to eat. We're just walking around in circles, but I think we'll find the place eventually. But it's been good because, you know, we've been talking to the locals, seeing the school, it's kind of cold. It's all part of the experience. It's like fish pieces to me. But it's jackfruit. Alright, so there are multiple kinds of things that's placed next to the rice. I see like three different stuff. I'm just gonna eat every one of them. Is that tastes like um, peanut, spicy peanut. I think this is a piece of tofu. Oh, it tastes like tofu skin. And then the notorious gouda. Mmm. Okay, so texture is really soft. I can never tell if it's from fruit, but it is spicy. It's not as sweet as I thought. Pretty good with rice. It's not as strong of a flavor. Like the saucy thing that you put on the rice. This one is very good. This is like peanut sauce. I'll start with this one he said was like a spicy thing. It's like a jelly type thing. It's really like squishy. I have no idea what that is or what that is. It's time for the actual beat Thank you. <laughs> it's so soft. It looks like beef or tuna. So in your brain, you think it's gonna be this chewy texture, but it's just like super, super soft, and it's sweet. It tastes like brown sugar to me. It is really sweet. Very different. Everything is sweet except the one spicy thing. I'm gonna mix them now because maybe when you mix them, they probably like taste better. <laughs> Not for me. Oh, he's ready. I'm sorry to the people of Jakarta. It was something sweet and spicy at the same time. Something that I'm not really used to. I saw a lot of family in that restaurant, even though it's like 3.30 right now. It's people probably grew up eating this food. I'm really glad we tried it, even though it wasn't our favorite. So next we're gonna go try to find some more specialties in Jakarta. We're on this quest to find Coffee Joe's, which is a coffee that has charcoal in it to make it sweeter. You don't eat the charcoal, you um, apparently dip it in the coffee for about a minute or two to get the flavor out and then take it out. We're in this fancy hotel to try some coffee joes. We looked up multiple places, but we couldn't really find a cafe that has coffee joes specific. I have a feeling since we're in a really fancy restaurant, it can't really go wrong in the, both in the drinks and the food. I think it's gonna taste good. Thank you. Mm. The charcoal is supposed to make the coffee less acidic and it's supposed to make like this brown sugar flavor. So far, it smells really good. Here's the actual charcoal. It's literally burnt wood, right? Yeah. Should I try it? Try it. I think it might be hot. Hmm. Tastes like coffee. Oh, really? It's like espresso. Yeah, I can't really tell the huge difference between this and regular coffee, but it, there is no like bite afterwards. I'm trying to summon the brown sugar. It's like a good cup of coffee. Did the summoning fail? <laughs> it tastes like espresso. It's smoky, but I think coffee is supposed to taste smoky. I can't really tell. So I don't know if it's just that we're not, like, we don't have enough of a refined palate. Surprisingly, it doesn't have any burn or woody taste. That was a shock to me. It tasted like a coffee, but it wasn't as bitter. It tasted good. We looked up this dish to try here called Broncos, which is like this spicy beef stew. Apparently, it has like some boiled eggs in it, some red beans, and beef. And it's supposed to be a specialty of Jogjakarta and other areas in central Java. 
Mm, very coconutty sweet. Okay. <laughs> like it's savory at first, but the ending is very sweet. Oh, there's beef. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. The beef is super soft. It's tasty. And sweet. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> I see a lot of tasty things in the soup though. Looks like some greens. I'll try the broth first. Mm. Okay. It's not as sweet as Sing Han made it sound. Very light. Now I'm gonna try the, the beef. I think I found a piece. Okay. It's sweet. <laughs> How do you make beef sweet? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try some of this stuff. Alright, the veggies are more my style. In the US, we eat very sweet breakfast, like pancakes and stuff. But when I have like dinner food with rice and everything, I think it's gonna be really savory. So it's very interesting. Oh, there's a copy toss! We missed it! It's one third of the price that we had at the hotel. <laughs> So now it's later in the day and this place is much more crowded. There's a lot of people walking and balancing, you know. There's a lot of hustle and bustle. We're gonna get some dessert and make our way back to our hotel. Black Busan Burger. Oh, it has like fish cake. Busan is kind of known for fish cake, Busan Uling. I guess they put it in the burger. I feel like we're in a K culture center. K pasta, K pizza. Busan burger. All right, so we're gonna get some bakpia, which is like a local dessert. And seeing how the food here that we've tried that we expect to be salty is actually slightly sweet. I'm kind of worried that this dessert is actually turned up a little salty or savory. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I hope it is just for the sake of the video. Ooh, are we tired? We had a long day, so we're gonna go inside and make some tea and try some of our bakpia. We have seen this signs for this brand of bakpia everywhere. It's like a little uh, person. Oh, it feels really soft. Okay, so this is the soft bakpia. You're not gonna believe me. Holy <laughs> shit, is that salty? It's salty what? and sweet. <laughs> the cheese inside of it is salty. This cheese in the middle tastes like American uh, really? cheese whiz. I think it's a thing here. I think Jakarta, it's like a thing. The bread is sweet, okay? In the middle is the cheese. It's like savory cheese. Almost like nacho cheese cheese. <laughs> is this something that I wasn't expecting? 100%. So food-wise, very unfamiliar with these, with the taste buds that I have, especially with two outstanding flavors getting mixed in into dishes. But I can see how if you grew up with these kind of flavors, they would really remind you of home. And it definitely has such a unique taste. I'm so glad we tried a lot of them and came here because it was something we've never experienced before. So I know that most people come to this area for the temples, but I'm glad that we ended up spending our day learning more about the culture, getting to try some of the Jogja and Central Java foods. What's your favorite dish of the day? Mm, I have to say the chicken noodle soup, so to I am, that was really good. I would eat that idea. It's always an adventure trying something new. In that aspect, it was a really great day. Here's the rice. Oh, just rice. <laughs> this is in the town. Um, the first place we're going to is... Hi, everyone. So it is a... Oh, so this is um, cover and a nice banana leaf. Ah, it's hot. <laughs> have to be careful with the banana leaves because they are hot and you can't really hold it right. 